Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Today I'm going to show you how to drill holes in a hardened knife blade tang using metallurgy and heat. I have this knife that I want to drill a lanyard hole in, but the problem is the blade's already heat treated. A drill bit simply won't work like it does on a pre-heat treated piece of steel. And I'll show you how hard this steel is. This is 1095 and 15 and 20 with 1095 sandwiched between it. You can see it just doesn't work. The steel is too hard for that drill bit to cut through it. So in this kind of situation, you have two options really. You can either get a drill bit that's harder than your material, or you can make the material not so hard. Now, the reason why this is even really something to talk about is that once you have heat treated your blade, introducing too much heat into the blade portion of the knife can very easily ruin your heat treat and give you a poor blade. Another option is traditional annealing, but the problem with this is that it creates a structure within the steel that is not very easy to drill through. And what we want is to segregate the carbides in the steel through spheroidal annealing or spheridizing. Everything we do from this point on this blade must be carefully done so that we don't heat up portions of the blade that need to do the cutting and need to retain their heat treated state. Fortunately, we don't have to heat up the portions we want to drill extremely high as we would with traditional annealing. Now, my favorite way to do this is to use my propane uh, oxygen torch, but you can also use a small torch like this that just uses the Venturi style burner on it. And I assume, depending on where you're trying to soften the tang, if you're very careful, you could probably even get away with doing some of this in a forge, periodically cooling the blade. I haven't tried that. I prefer to use a pretty small flame on the torch. You can use a larger flame, it really doesn't matter. What does matter the most is how much heat you introduce to the steel. Our goal is not to heat this to an orange or even cherry red hot or heat, but simply to a dull red heat. The reason for this is we don't want to change it to austenite. Austenite is a phase of steel that happens above 1400 degrees, usually 1425 and above. And once we've created some austenite, that can change back into perlite. And we don't want that to happen. We just want to use some heat to ball up or segregate the carbon. So as you can see, it's easy to heat a very localized area on this knife tang and, uh, and not ruin important heat treating further up. So you probably can't see it on the camera, but I've got a very dull red spot right here in this area. And I'm going to kind of make sure that it's consistent and then I'm gonna let it air cool. Now again, it's not necessary to control the cooling rate of this steel because we haven't heated it up to austenizing temperatures and we're not creating a structure that can be turned into the perlite that we want to avoid. So it's going to air cool as fast as it wants to, doesn't really matter too much. And once it's cool enough to touch, then I will take it over the drill press and see if we can drill through it. Sometimes it's necessary, necessary to do this multiple times, two or three times perhaps, uh, for the spheridizing. But I'm going to see how quickly we can uh, get a hole drilled through it. There you have it guys, we're able to get a hole drilled through this on the first try after spheridizing that. Like I say, don't be afraid to hit that a couple times or hold it right at that dull red color for a little bit of time, depending on the alloy content of your particular steel, it may require a little more than I had to do on this 1095 high carbon steel. But anyway, hopefully this video saves you a little bit of money on some carbide drill bits that you perhaps don't need. Also, I wanted to mention real quick, I really appreciate your guys' support. So if you like the content, and uh, you like what I'm doing here, one way you can support it that doesn't cost you anything except for a little bit of time is to simply sit through 
some of the ads that pop up that you can skip otherwise, but if you sit through it for 30 seconds at least, then they send me a few cents here and there, and so helps make this all work out. And uh, so anyway, uh, appreciate you guys watching. Have a great day.